So yeah, I'm re-recording this because for some reason, the first time I did it, my camera didn't pick up any sound. So that's always fun. So I don't have the, the box anymore because I've already chucked that out. Uh, so let's just get on with this. So Chris, leader of the hunters, is an event exclusive booster from Mantic Games. Uh, that is the third Walking Dead event exclusive. So it's drawing the likes of Lane Clementine and uh, Dale, the prison advisor, as well. Uh, with this one, keeping in with the Wave 5 boosters, uh, there's no walkers in the set. Instead, you're getting uh, the Chris model plus the character card, uh, equipment cards, and some veteran skills as well. And you're also getting two resin uh, loot tokens as well. I'll put some bad pictures up on the screen uh, in post, so don't worry. Uh, you've got some uh, guns on uh, some weapon crates, and there's also a severed leg and severed arm on some crates as well with uh, like a butcher's knife and a surgical saw as well and uh, these are two of the resin pieces in the set and their uh, Mantex resin stuff is awesome anyway but the detail on these when you look at the crates and you see the wood grain and uh, the rope on the handles and stuff the details insane I'd say it's the best resin stuff that uh, Mantic put out to date and that's including the uh, the collector things like the uh, the Negan diorama and uh, the governor's trophy cabinet as well. These are like the best so far. So I'm really looking forward to see what else they they come out with when they're keeping in with this level of detail. The Chris model itself, it's a nice pose. Uh, nothing particularly outstanding about it. Uh, it's a basic walk-in pose on them. On with a pistol and a butcher's knife. It looks decent. The character card for him is worth 50 points. So two red melee, a white shoot, and a white and a red defense. Uh, nerve level high is you'd want for for your leader. Health wise, five health points. He's quite middle of the road. Uh, he's not quite a, a one you'd have up front leading. Really, he's more leading from the the back. Uh, so you know you. You're not going to lose him straight away. Uh, he's got the leader ability, Ugly Business. Each time Chris or a friendly model within 10 inches attacks a prone survivor, add one red dice to a special dice pool on this card. Chris and any friendly hunter models within 6 inches may add one of these dice to any attack roll versus survivors. Only one bonus die may be used per model per roll. So, yeah. Keeping them towards the back there, you've got a 10 inch uh, range for being able to uh, attack prone survivors, which you know, is quite decent. Uh, and then within 6 inches of them, so you can still keep them relatively out of harm's way and be able to use uh, use this leader ability uh, to your advantage. So a man's got to eat for their special rules. Chris adds a red dice to all attack rolls against enemy survivors within two or fewer health points remaining. So, like I say, keep them towards the back. As soon as people are running a bit weaker, charge them in, finish them off with that. It's me or you. If Chris is in contact with a survivor at the start of the melee phase and there are any walkers within his kill zone, he may roll a black dice. On a shield, move. Uh, move one enemy survivor in contact with Chris into contact with a walker in his kill zone at the shortest possible route. So, if he does end up getting uh, into a bit of combat, uh, you can use that and possibly get him out of combat, let a walker deal a bit of damage possibly, and then maybe on your next phase, you charge in and you make use of the a man's got to eat if they're below two health. So it's always quite handy to, to keep an eye on uh, what you're doing with Chris. He works obviously well with uh, the Hunter faction, uh, the other five models that you got in Fear the Hunters. So uh, put their team up to six, you're looking at about 200 odd points for, for running those six models, which isn't bad, uh, it obviously depends on how many points you've got to spend. Uh, and then just on them up, uh, obviously playing towards what, uh, what has the most dice, not necessarily the highest rated dice. So if you've got two red 
they have melee and one white shooting. Probably go towards the melee rather than the shooting one. Just there, more dice. Yes, more dice is always better. So we're getting eight equipment cards with this pack. Getting a Webley WG Army model pistol. It's a 10 inch range weapon, armor piercing, handgun reliable, has a white dice, causes mayhem. So it's a pretty standard revolver really. And uh, it's nice to have a, a bit more armor piercing coming in, especially when you're playing the bigger point games. And uh, even when you're, you're going in the, the march to war, uh, big games, uh, you'd probably be having a bit more armor on there. So more armor piercing weapons is always a welcome thing. 17 points for a Gator Pro knife. Uh, amputate dual wield sharp adds two red to a melee roll, which is pretty decent. Uh, Kabar combat knife, 14 points, dual wield sharp adds uh, red dice to melee attack roll against survivors and a white dice against walkers. Um, with Chris being quite handy in hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat, these knives are, are pretty decent for that. Uh, two point flashlight, which is a bludgeon weapon, uh, is an action. You can uh, use your model as a, a light source. Uh, PCPs, four points, uh, lose one health and add a red dice uh, to all defense rolls and melee attack rolls this turn. It's a single use one. So I'm not a really a big user of the the items where you lose a health uh, like you use uh, where you lose health to, to gain something uh, I, I tend to be quite cautious with my health so uh, PCPs is probably not something that I'd be using very often anyway obviously if you're using someone like Negan with like full health uh, then you know losing one or two for different things isn't too bad but someone like Chris with five hit points, I'd probably avoid using that. Uh, climbing gloves for three points. Uh, you can reroll failed uh, climb tests. Jerry can, which is a special item. Uh, it's four points, and uh, you discard this uh, card to perform a search action while in contact with any car or RV, even if it does not have a supply counter. Gain a supply counter, but do not draw a supply card. So that's one way. If you uh, if you're playing against someone else and you're either in a tie or you're looking to get a tie from the the supply tokens and just kind of like a force a stalemate that way, then yeah, that's quite handy. Or you can just use it to kind of sneak into a win, which is always uh, always going to be fun. Then my final one is camo paint for two points. It's another special item single use. When this model is in cover it adds uh, an extra hit to its cover bonus roll so keep you alive a little bit longer and if you've got some camo on then you're invisible everyone knows that. And then we're getting two veteran skill cards as well these were introduced in wave five uh, so you spend some points and you basically leveling up your character uh, by giving them some skills. So you've got Dirty Fighter for 10 points and whenever this survivor attacks in melee and loses immediately add one red to its melee attack roll. And Stab uh, which is 6 points. Uh, this survivor may reroll any or all of its melee attack dice when using a weapon with the sharp keyword. So skills that you do find on other characters uh, you can start adding them on the uh, characters like Rick who don't have them so as the story is progressing you can kind of customize your character progression to fit with it as well and uh, and that's the Chris Hunter uh, leader of the hunters booster um, it's good I enjoy it uh, I think having the the hunter leader does make the hunters a lot more viable as a team so I'll be looking forward to, to playing as them and just kind of building my own narrative for the hunters as I go so 
but thanks for watching the video if you enjoyed it please uh, hit like subscribe drop a comment anything like that helps uh, if you know anyone who'd be interested in watching this then give it a share and uh, I'll see you next time